Hello Hacktubers and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be all about this small device. As you can see, right now it's uh, assembled, but I will show you the whole process of making this solar energy storage technology gadget. But before that, sponsor of this video is PCBWay. For today's project, I'm using custom-made printed sucker boards that I ordered from PCBWay, which is the best PCB manufacturer right now. And they have a couple of services like prototype PCB assemble, advanced printed circuit boards service, and my favorite service is PCB Way Shared Projects. You can share your DIY PCB projects on the PCB Way website. And this small printed circuit boards will cost five dollars for ten pieces and build time in 24 hours once again thank thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this video let's con continue with the project and first that you need to do is designing a, a printed sucker board I'm making in free software called Spring Layout and after designing the board you, you can order it from PCB way and in couple of days you will receive the package with the boards and for today project which is solar energy storage gadget you will need for making a super capacitor in this case I'm using 2.7 volts 10 farads super capacitor one chip 80 tiny 85 one photoresistor one resistor for the LED that resistor will be around 300 ohms and one LED any color you want and not to forget the small solar panel with the rectifier diode for protecting and that solar panel is giving around 2.5 volts which is enough for charging the super capacitor with the photoresistor 80 tiny will know when it's dark and will turn on the LED in this case will blink in every 3 seconds with very fast rate so basically this is a self charging device or solar energy storage device that will work for about 10 plus years because the supercapacitor lifetime is much better than the batteries than the lithium batteries okay so let me explain the the circuit of this energy storage technology gadget so this is the, this is the chip 80 tiny 85 the eighth leg of the chip is the positive the fourth leg of the chip is the negative and the first leg is reset and all others are digital outputs also we have two analog inputs on this chip but in this uh, project I'm using just one pin for driving the LED and one pin for the photo sensor The LED is 
connected, connected on digital pin number one that is the sixth leg of the eighty tiny through one resistor of 270 ohms connected, connected with ground and this LED will blink and the photoresistor is connected on third pin of the AT tiny or that is digital pin number four. Zero, one, two, three, four. Yes. This is three, this is zero, one, two. Okay. With ground. This is the photoresistor. And here we connect the positive terminal from the supercapacitor and on ground we connect the negative terminal from capacitor. And the solar panel solar panel is giving positive and negative. But on the positive you need to to place a diode, a rectifier diode, and goes to the capacitor. That is plus, this is minus. So the negative wire from solar panel directly go to the capacitor and the positive go through a rectifier diode and goes to the positive of the capacitor. From capacitor, positive and negative, you connect to the AT tiny chip. And this circuit will detect a night and when the when it's night the LED will blink at day through the solar panel all the gadget will be recharged and that's why it's a solar energy storage gadget or technology I hope you understand this little circuit the code will be in description below. Now I'm gonna test it. Let's turn off the lights. And I'm covering the photoresistor to simulate a darkness. And you can see that the red LED is blinking. Now it's not blinking. The same thing is this bigger version of this. I wanted to make a smaller. Here it is the small, the solar panel, the PCB, the chip, the supercapacitor, and all that in epoxy resin. And this right now. It's, it's working for about almost one year without any mistake and I love it. Big, small. Also this one will be place it in epoxy resin. Okay, that was all for today video. Thank you for watching.